everyone and welcome back to my channel. Those that are new here, please go and look through the back catalogue of videos, especially my MPPL journey where I was learning to get my Microlite license with Airways Air Sports. That has allowed me to fly this aircraft in a different guise. It's now gone from sub 70 to SSDR. It's been registered with the Civil Aviation Authority. I'll show you the G-Reg later on. But first of all, I want to show you some of the bits that I'm gonna be bolting onto this now that I've got a maximum takeoff weight as opposed to the sub 70 weight. Some of the bits in this box or around the box um, have been provided by Flylight because they're upgrades that you can actually get. But I have to give a really big shout out to Greg Watson and his son for making this superb custom made with the Golf Fox Dot 22 uh, emblem for a UN 70 compass. That will allow me to bolt this straight onto the front strut without using the Velcro system that I've got. It just looks so much better and neater. So thank you, Greg and your son for that. Very, very much appreciated. So what else in the box? Fuel tank. The fuel tank is 25 litres. The current fuel tank is 20 litres um, and you kind of technically miss a bit of the top because it's sat at an angle. So when you try and fill this up, you do actually miss that last little bit of the top of the tank. So I'll be fitting this today. So thanks Ben for getting that sorted out for me. Um, uh, shout out to Ridge Hog for these. Um, he mentioned them and I managed to get them from a hang glider com company nearby to me. So that should keep my hands a little bit warmer in the winter and apparently they're very, very good. So Zoot Bar Mitts, I'll be fitting them today. Already showing you the compass. The other thing you may have seen in some of the previous video, I think it was only one video I kept this on for, and that is the bivy bag. This fits on the top of the A-frame and allows you about 30 litres of storage um, for when I want to go overnight camping or just taking stuff away with me um, when I'm visiting other airfields now that I'll be able to fly further. So that's the bivy bag for the A-frame. The other thing is I've got to change some of the engine mounts on this just to change the geometry of the engine. So that's a job I'll be doing later today. Again, it's going to be a very busy day with all mods and changes. Um, and the one thing you may be able to see here in the background is my lovely shiny, get out of the sun, my lovely shiny three blade E-prop. There's one other modification I want to do and you may have noticed it in the video when Mark was flying this PB at Airways that he kept talking about hand throttle. I'm gonna try and see if I can make my own design as there isn't one available for this aircraft at the moment uh, to see if I can get a hand throttle. If I've got four plus hours in the tank, it's gonna be hard work for my foot being kept constant on that pedal. I would really, really like a hand throttle to take over. Okay, so it's been a while since I did the first part of this video due to either restrictions of lockdown and just general life getting in the way, weather, it's not always as easy for me to get to this farm strip as you'd think. But anyway, we're here now and the PB has had a slight transformation from being a sub 70 and it is now morphed into my SSDR Microlite. And that's by definition in that it's now flying above the 70 kilograms or 75. I've still actually got the reserve fitted to the back of it. And we'll just walk around and I'll show you a few of the additions. They're not quite finished yet, not to the, the Giles standard in as much as I put the markings on for the fuel tank. But for me, I want to have some proper coach tape lines. As you can probably see, I've marked all the way down there, all the increments, and I'm going to go back through and I've got the side markings as well. Uh, I actually ran out of fuel at 18 litres, but as you can see, there's still a quite a considerable amount um, that I can still get into this tank. So that is the 25 litre tank that uh, Flylight sell as an increase for the larger SSDR models. Um, I think the phrase Ben used was, it's snug. It did take a lot of shoehorning to get in there, but it does fit. And the, the strapping and support mechanism that Ben makes for this is superb. Um, and fits in quite nicely. The other thing that you may have seen in the initial pictures was this lovely three-bladed propeller, this E-prop. Um, it has a very gnarly sound to it. About 7,000 RPM, it starts to growl. Um, and I'm gonna do some further tests between this propeller, which is the 130 three-blade, and the Helix 130 uh, for the same reduction. It's a 287 reduction, 2.87 to 1 reduction, and I just want to see what the difference is in fuel consumption, um, in-flight cruise RPMs, uh, a whole raft of tests to see how that works. Um, as you can see, even with this and the minimal spacer, there's loads of space at the back of there, so there's no, in, no 
issues with the keel tube. One of the things that I am really pleased about is this. And if you haven't seen the video where Mark flies this aircraft um, to get his perception of it, which I really actually quite enjoyed editing, um, he mentioned a number of times in that video that he wanted the hand throttle. I've wanted the hand throttle for a long time as well. So I've actually made a split cable system on this. This also links in with the foot throttle. So actually you can actually have a hand throttle and a foot throttle. Those that are already flexwing pilots, you might actually find it's a bit of a daft question to ask, but those that have been following my channel actually come from other areas of aviation, paramoting, paragliding and so on. I get asked quite often, where is the throttle? Well, here is a hand throttle, which is quite obvious, but when you're flying, and it's a very subtle foot action, this is actually how I control the throttle. Foot steering and it's just a foot peg. So for those that are new to the channel, that's, uh, that's how I actually control the power on this thing. And it's a cable that runs all the way through to the back of the aircraft. I've designed a mechanism inside that allows both hand and foot throttles to operate independently. So I can get into the cruise, go straight to the hand throttle and then come back off the hand throttle for when I need to actually use the foot throttle. Bonus. And one other thing I need to also mention is the lovely, lovely compass mount that, uh, that Greg Watson's son designed. Uh, and this is it, and it just sits on there on the monopole, on the forward strut of the pole, um, with the UN70 compass. There's some rubber strips inside, and it is very secure, so I'm really, really happy with that. Other than that, and I say other than that, that is where the PB is at the moment. Uh, I'm so looking forward to flying this with my new licence. Um, stand by for some future videos, but when we uh, can get out to more areas, more locations, I will be filling that tank going to the max takeoff weight with fuel and then going off and enjoying flying to other airfields. So we'll wrap this video up here. I hope that's been a bit of a, a ground video, not much flying in this one, but just to show you all the upgrades um, and bits and pieces. Huge thank you to Flylight for, uh, for getting those through to me so quickly. I really appreciate that, Ben and the team. Uh, so we'll leave this video here and until next time everybody, maybe a flying video. Until next time, fly safe. <laughs>